What is up, everybody? Welcome to episode number 95, continuing where we left off in the last one. I'm still going for 99 crafting, uh, 1.2 mil XP until I get that. I'm actually going to reset my county here like I do on uh, every video so you guys can see the progress I've made since I started the video. Uh, now, if you remember from the last video, I was complaining about crafting and how there's so many people here. Uh, so I don't know how this is going to work out. I have no idea what the XP rates are or how long this is going to take me to do. Uh, hopefully I can stick to it and not, because there was a few times when I was trying to get to 98 that I actually almost left because it was really annoying. So I'm hoping I can stick to it and get this 99 done with and then we can move and start doing some mining. So, uh, I guess I'll see you guys back once I, uh, hit 99 crafting. I'll be sure to let you guys know, uh, how much I enjoy doing it so much. Okay guys, so I was hoping I'd be able to get this all the way done with. I really want to get this 99 but it's pretty impossible right now. Um, I've been hopping charters um, consistently for about three days now, trying to find, um, you know, good worlds. But every single time I try, there's like 30 people at each charter. So um, we are 638k away from getting 299, which is 48%. Um, I'm going to stop doing crafting right now because it's really, really annoying me and kind of making me not want to play as much so i'm actually going to go and try to get to 99 mining right now um i don't know if i'm going to go straight to 99 i might take a break at certain times and come back and uh, continue doing crafting but at the times i'm trying to do this right now it's it's just not possible to do since i did do 99 rune crafting i did get a lot of mining xp though so we are only 474k away from 97 mining which is about 10 hours i should be getting Around 47k XP per hour here. As for the crafting though, there is a new crafting method that a lot of people are talking about, which is farming seaweed. Uh, you can get probably like 600 per hour. It's really nice if you just fill your own buckets. Uh, so I'm going to be linking a video to that if you guys want to check it out. Uh, Dave is actually the one who made it. Uh, so if you guys are curious and you do not want to do charters, I'm just going to continue doing them since I'm so close anyway. But uh, for the people who do not want to do charters to 99, this is another really good method for you guys to use. Also, really quickly, I did want to show you guys my tab for the ore really quick. So I do still have the 3600 mithril ore. I never finished making those before. Uh, all this coal is from doing kingdom, which I do have to go and collect very soon. So we'll get some more from that. All right, so here we are back with another level. There is 97 mining, 474k XP gain, so it hasn't been too long. I'm getting probably about 40k XP per hour here. If you really pay full attention to it, I could probably get like 47k, but, you know, between having to do stuff, uh, it turns out to be about 40k per hour. Uh, this is what the ore is looking like now, 175 nuggets, but we're going to keep grinding this out, and I'll see you guys back at 98. And hello again, guys. Here is 98 Mining. I believe this is the third one I have right now. So we have 98 Mining, Crafting, and Farming. Almost 1.6 mil total XP gain since we started. So another bank update here, 547 Nuggets. So all of the ore I have in here right now is about 1.4 mil XP. It's a lot less than I was hoping to get, so I'll probably end up having to buy gold ore to finish out 99 smithing. Another thing is I'm actually really happy that I decided to do 99 mining first, because I'm going to be buying gem bags with these nuggets, so that'll get me a ton more crafting XP, which means less charters, so in the long run it's it's going to be a lot nicer. But only one more level to go until I can start using all of this ore and going for 99 smithing. This has been one hell of a grind to get all this XP without stopping. 2.8 mil total mining XP. I did message my CC, as you guys know, I do like trying to get as many people at my 99 parties as possible, and this one actually got a pretty decent amount of people because I got it at a normal time. Uh, there is 99 mining, the 18th 99 on the account. Thanks everybody that came, I think having a lot of people here makes these, um, these videos a little bit cooler once I do manage to get the 99s. This is pretty much the ore we managed to get from about 2.8 mil XP. I did have some coal and mithril before we started. I do want to price check this for you guys because I know uh, some people are probably going to be asking for that later on. I just need to take out the amount of ore that I already had, which was 3603 mithril and 3695 coal. So this is pretty much the amount of ore I've gotten from this amount of XP. If you guys want to calculate anything, figure out how much GP you're going to be getting from the amount of XP you get. But that's actually really good. It's almost 1 to 10. So maybe if you do 99 mining here, you'll make like... 130 mil or something like that so that's really good uh, in terms of the total xp i do still need to add that up and i'm gonna do that in a second i want to use all of these nuggets on buying these gems and hopefully we can get something good from this i don't want to make the mistake of buying the wrong thing here so let's get all of these gem bags all right so i had to bank one of these because apparently i didn't have enough uh, space in my inventory still no dragon stone there's two of them not too bad um i don't know how much xp this is going to be in gems but i guess i can price check this as well 
So another 1 mil XP in gems. So I'm going to add all this stuff up and I'll let you guys know how much XP it's actually worth. I added up everything. Um, if we do not count the myth ore, so this is just counting making the ruin, the addy, and the gold, it's 1.25 mil XP. And if I count the mithril, it's about 2.2 mil XP. So if I use all of this, it's enough to get me to pretty much exactly 98 smithing. So I'll still need about 1.1 mil XP that I'll end up having to buy in gold ore. I'm not entirely sure yet if I actually want to do all of the mithril or if I want to just buy more gold ore. I'd have to buy 2 mil XP worth of gold ore, which is going to cost me about 10 mil, which really isn't that much, seeing as once I alk all this stuff, I'll pretty much have like 25 to 30 mil more GP anyway. So that's something I have to figure out once I go and start doing smithing. In terms of the gems, it's about 85.4k crafting XP. It's not as much as I was hoping for. I was hoping it would be about 150 to 200k. But before I go and start doing crafting, I do want to go and collect Kingdom. It's been going for a while, and I need all of that coal anyway to uh, end up doing smithing. Honestly, I don't know how long I've had this going. Um, if I had to guess, it's definitely over two weeks for sure. But I wouldn't say it's over a month, but it's been a pretty long time, so I'm hoping that uh, we get a lot of coal from this. This is the second time I've collected with coal, so I really don't know how much it's going to be yet. Let's see here. Wow, that, whoa. Okay, this actually might have been going for more than a month. This is actually uh, ridiculous. Almost 10,000 coal, so... Uh, making the decision to do this is going to have saved me a ton of time because buying the 10k coal will probably take me about an hour and a half. Uh, maybe even longer if there's a lot of people there. Since this was so much, I decided, you know what, I'm going to add this all up just to see how much XP it is. And this is 230k herb XP. That is actually kind of crazy. That's going to save me a ton of time. I uh, might give me enough to actually get to 98 now as well. I do still have to go and collect all those wines though, which is going to be the pretty much only annoying secondary I have to get, but uh, this is a ton of stuff, so uh, very thankful for Kingdom. So now that 99 mining is out of the way, I'm going to move into finishing 99 crafting. We are 638k away. I'm going to start by cutting all of the gems that I did get. Um, before I mention, there's not really too many ways to do crafting. I thought about it for a while and I was pretty wrong on that. Uh, there is still a bunch of ways to do crafting, it's just, I guess, not as good as charters if there's nobody there, but I do have some more ideas um, on how I can finish out crafting if the charters are still populated, so I'll see you guys back once I'm done cutting all of these gems. There's all the gems cut, 88k XP gained, and 550k away from 99 now. Uh, really quickly, I did want to give a shout out to Ragnarok Z. Um, anybody pretty much who talks to me in game, and if you guys ask for a shout out, most of the time I'll probably do it for you. So in terms of the other ways to get crafting XP I was talking about, I do still have all of these gold bars. I have 80,000 of them, and I could make these into bracelets. I believe it's about 35 to 40k XP per hour, so that's another thing I could do. I could also make silver bars and make sickles. I believe that's a lot of XP per hour as well. I think that's almost 100k. And I could even just use all of the gems I have. I have a bunch of sapphires and stuff. I still have 2,000 sapphires. I think I have a bunch of emeralds too. Uh, so I could just make jewelry. That would be a lot of XP per hour too. I'm going to try charges right now. But if there's a lot of people there, I'll probably stop and just go and craft my gems. All right, I can't be asked. I'm going to go make my jewelry. There's the jewelry done. We are 377k off of 99 now. So this is what I was able to make. I have almost 3,600 sapphire rings now for ring of recoils, which is going to be really, really nice for Zola. I believe you can get two kills every ring of recoil about, so it's kind of enough for me to get like 7,000 kills, which I'm never going to be uh, doing that much, but it's really nice to have. Also have a ton of emerald rings for rings of dueling. I don't know if I'll really need these as much because once I do get 99 crafting the um, crafting guild teleport is pretty much like the best bank you can get so now I'm going to be making gold amulets I know before I mentioned gold bracelets I did that a really long time ago I haven't done this for a while so for some reason I was thinking gold bracelets gold amulets are a lot more xp and more worth doing so if I can remember from the last time I did this it's about 45k xp per hour so it's really not too bad um, I might go back and try charges one more time when it's like really early in the morning but even for it being really early in the morning I'm still kind of expecting there to be a ton of people there so what ended up happening is I did two hours of gold amulets and I decided to go and try uh, charters like I mentioned I was going to. And thankfully it was free. I was able to get almost 350k XP I believe. Uh, without even running into anyone. So uh, I don't know if it was pure luck or the time I did it. But here is 99 crafting. The 19th 99 on the account. We only have 4 left to go. Being prayer, herbs, smithing, and farming. So we're getting very very close now. Uh, the nice thing about getting 99 crafting is the cape is actually really good. It gives you unlimited teleports to the crafting guild, so it pretty much replaces the uh, Rings of Dueling I've been using to bank now, uh, like when I get herb secondaries and stuff like that. So uh, since I got 99 construction, this is the one cape worth buying now. 
once again, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, next video, we're going to try to go for maybe 299s again. Um, I'll definitely be able to get 99 smithing. I'm hoping to get 99 farming, but we'll see what happens. Uh, so one more thing before we end here, I did want to mention to you guys that um, I do use Twitter a lot. If you guys want updates real time, pretty much I always post once I, um, I'm about to get 99s or when I get 99s before the video. Also, just for like general memes and stuff. Uh, it, it's just a good time. Uh, if you guys want to ask me questions and stuff, it's probably the best way to do it as well. But yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Next video. It's probably going to take a while to make as well since we're pretty much end game on this account. But I'll try to get it out as fast as possible. And I will see you guys in that next video.